welcome back to Studio One. Now, having a successful career is not easy. To really stand out, you need to do more than just turn up and work a nine to five. You need to master the three C's. What are they? That we have an expert to talk about it. Oh, huh? good. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy Trablusi Chamoon from Bait.com is here to explain what the three C's are and why they're so important. I'm looking forward to this one. Peggy, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank Great you to have me. you. Um, now, listen, um, let's start with the first, if we may, because I know a lot of people are out there trying to work out what their three C's are and, 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 and trying to put them into place. Um, the first that you recommend is contacts. Um, Tell it, put that into context if you can. What do you mean by contacts? Sure. Let me first tell you what employers in the MENA region think about that. So out of the, you know, the several polls that we do on bait.com, it shows that 28.8% of employers actually think that drive, ambition, and hunger to look for a job is a crucial component upon their hiring decisions. So when we talk about contact, we talk about the way job seekers actually do to find a job? How do they make themselves visible mm. to the employers who are actively looking for candidates? Mm. And to actually understand that our jobs are available online, but there are also hidden jobs that are not advertised. Right. So you need to, do, to maximize your search mm. by using the current platforms that are available. So posting your CV online, for instance, is today an essential thing to do. So on bait.com today we actually serve seven, over 7.5 million job seekers okay. and they are visible to over 40,000 employers. So mm -hmm. the social media platform that is available today and the services that we offer job seekers mm -hmm. whereby they can actually have their personal profile mm -hmm. available online mm -hmm. to employers mm -hmm. is actually something they can activate. So mm -hmm. one, they should post their CV. Mm -hmm. Two, they should use a builder that actually make those employers look for them in the most effective way and social network mm. with these employers whether it's in events career fairs conferences mm. and so mm. on now you mentioned that mm. it's not just uh, the social networking sites and online job seeking websites but it's also these hidden jobs and to get to these hidden jobs you need to widen your network do you have a few tips for that of course so let's clarify what the hidden jobs are. So like today you have over 11,000 jobs that are advertised, but those same employers do not advertise all the jobs that they have. So they also have thousands and thousands of other jobs that are available to them, but they would like first to understand what is the pool of talent available on the market. Mm -hmm. And if as a job seeker, I do not make myself visible enough, I'm not hungry, and I don't have this motivation to find my employers by widening my net, by looking for understanding who is advertising or who is actually recruiting. So you go online, you visit employers, um, uh, company profile, you understand what is the talent that they're looking for, and you highlight your skills to them, there would be no way for them to find you and you will not be able to interact. So equally, when you're talking about contacts, you're talking about your own contacts as well, putting yourself out there. So there's nothing wrong in asking the question or you know admitting that you are looking for work or something like that don't be embarrassed about it absolutely you must advertise it you right. otherwise how would people know that you're there is nothing wrong in looking for a job and how would people help you and how would actually your network help you find a job if you don't make it visible put, to them put yourself mm. out there Sure. Right, Peggy, if we can get into the second C, which is credibility and character. So this is where I fall down. <laughs> sure. So again, uh, out of the poll that we did, which is about uh, the challenges in management, 20% uh, of employers truly believe that professional success is a key factor upon their hiring decision. What do we mean by professional success? So talking about the credibility of job seekers, it's very important that you go there into an interview and you actually set the pace right. So you do not over uh, estimate, you know, what, what is it that you can do. Make sure that you're accurate and you're, that you're to the point. You are true to yourself and to the employer and you portray yourself you don't misinterpret yourself and you do not give the wrong image of you know what you can and what you cannot do yet what is very important is to make your skills mm. available mm. and visible to the employer because mm. no one else <coughs> but you can actually talk about your values your interests and why you can be a better candidate than anyone else for that mm. job 
If, say, for example, playing devil's advocate for a second, you know, if a lot of people say that you've got to be very confident in interviews, you've got to be very confident when you're looking for a job, etc. Uh, if that's not your character, though, uh, is that something that you should be aware of? You, are, you, are you saying it's better just to be yourself? Of course. Yeah. So be, be yourself and be professional. So do not, this is what I meant, don't portray something that you're yeah, not. That you're not. Okay. Because obviously it will show that you're acting or you have rehearsed something that is not true to yourself. Because at the end of the day, you will be hired for the job for what you are. Mm. Mm. And the employer <coughs> will search a specific character. So talking about character, the thing employers usually hate is when you do not portray the right image of yourself or you come unprepared for something that you know you should know so coming yeah. to an interview and not knowing what you're getting yourself into has nothing to do with your character you can still be someone very shy but yet you can act very professional during the interview you can be someone very accurate and you can be you can show the enthusiasm mm -hmm. some people are more shy some mm -hmm. people are less shy but at least you need to show that enthusiasm that you are mm -hmm. for the job you make sure that you are, you know, straight to the point yeah. and you keep, you know, the eye contact mm -hmm. showing, you know, how confident you are that you can mm -hmm. do the job. Right, Peggy, we are unfortunately running short of time. So very quickly, in a nutshell, the final C, which is competence. Yes, sure. So competence starts at writing your CV. So it's very important that whatever you put in your CV shows the skills and the competence that you have. Mm -hmm. Again, you need to use the right tools, the right CV builder, the right toolkit that actually would want the employer to call you in for an interview. Make sure you fragment it, you use your career objective, you highlight your skills and the things you have achieved. Mm -hmm. Second, when you reach the interview, obviously show you know, the competence that what you can do, show the enthusiasm, the energy, the positiveness. <coughs> do not portray things that you cannot do. And obviously making sure that you are here for the career and not for a job, because mm -hmm. this is what employers are looking for. So today. no freeloading, be good at what you do, <laughs> enjoy what you do and take advantage of that time whenever you're in a job. Is exactly, and research. So you need to do, it's a full-time job. To look for a job should be a full-time job. So you should research online and understand mm. what is the toolkit to be prepared to do that. I like that. That is a really good place to leave it. A full-time <laughs> job is to look for a job. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking, that's for sure. Well, thank you very much indeed for that. Some great advice. Uh, contacts, credibility and character, and of course, competence. Those are your three C's that you need to rem be remembering if you're looking for a job. Um, thank you. Thank you thank for having you. me. Right, earlier.